How is it going on folks? So today we're gonna take a quick look at how to set up a coding and the true development environment in our platform. Now this is gonna be a very beginner's tutorial um, for those who just started with frameworks um, just like me. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and dive into that. First of all we get to down download the coding under tree. Um, so I think I already downloaded that but if it's not just I'm gonna give a quick look on that. So to download the coding under tree just go to the coordinator.com and then from the very front page you can download it. Just click on that and the download should just um, should start within a few sec. But if it's not, or uh, if, if they, in the meantime, if they do change the uh, interface of their website, you could just find the download option somewhere else. Like right now at the very top they also have another option to download the coding under tree. And if you click on that, they're just going to give you some options. Like you can download the old version of coding under, uh, which is coding under 2, though it's actively maintained. And then you can also download the coding under tree as well, which is the 3.1 is the current version. Now, I already got downloaded my uh, the coding under 3.1. And I'm just going to open that up. And there we go. So right in here, I want I will want to extract all the coding under two files. So I'll just select everything, and I will drag it on my on the directory where I want to work. With that done, now we're ready to go to the next step. Now. Remember, though we're probably going to use WAMP server or XAMPP server for Windows or maybe MAMP for Mac or maybe standard Apache MySQL and PHP thing on Linux, but in this case, as we are just setting up a development environment, we're going to use the PHP integrated development server. And you can of course know more about it if you do a quick Google on it. There it is, built-in web server, which is really handy. And, and I'm going to show you how we can uh, point this directory right here. And we can assign a local IP address, uh, which will direct us to this directory. So we can work much more smarter way. So to do that, just open up the terminal. As you're on Windows, this is going to be command prompt. But if you're on the... Uh, Unix systems like Linux thing then we want to say this terminal something like that so let's go ahead and dive into that now as you already know we are inside the G drive inside the projects and then the CI underscore env so we need to get to that directory in Windows this is a little similar like the Unix system so first of all we need to go into the G partition to do it we just we just need to type G and then a colon and just press enter and then now we're into the G partition and we need to enter CD space into the projects directory now if we type PR1 if we press on the tab that gonna complete the entire directory for us and then to go into the CI underscore ENV enter now we are inside the G partition inside the projects and then inside the CI environment directory just where we have extracted our coordinated tree files okay now right here let's just start our PHP uh, built-in web server and how to do it it's real easy PHP dash capital S 1 to 7 point zero point zero point one then any port that which is free so for example say 2520 for example this could be anything else press enter and there you go we have uh, we're now listening on this IP this is basically a local IP address so I'm just copy that out and then just enter into that IP address and there you go all right, so now that we have our coordinator up and running, and this local IP right here basically pointing us into this directory where we have extracted all, all of the coordinator things. And it's fairly simple, and it's really simple because think of it that you, you use the Dropbox or probably you sync this directory with Google Drive. So whatever you do, do you type in codes that automatically synced with your cloud services like Dropbox or Google Drive. It's really 
time saver and also um, great effort for to become a I think to become a good programmer right so in any condition we are not gonna lose our code which is real important so that was this now another part comes with the choosing a code editor now I personally like the sublime text which is a commercial application but this is this could be used free as long as you want but it's really important that if you can afford just buy the buy the application now just drag and drop the entire directory I got that gonna give us a um, nice sidebar where we can have our all the files and stuff like that so here's our base controller welcome and then here's our views right here welcome message let's trim everything say h1 hi below the page and <laughs> there's a little high of that so, so I really recommend using sublime text now if you want to use something like free applications you could use the atom editor or probably you can also use the notepad plus plus um, which is also free for Windows and fairly popular as well. And I use, I have used the Atom editor, uh, but I'm not pretty much comfort with this. But it's really a uh, great editor, and it has a well improvement over time. So you can give it a try; it's free, and it's also something that's similar to Sublime Text, but it's on top of the Chromium, which you use to Chrome. So then the Notepad Plus Plus is really simple and it works fine on any computer, uh, runs Windows PC, yeah. And now that we got our environment set up, we get our editor done. So I think that's all for our today's screencast and thanks for watching this video.